Hey guys, I am working on a fun new project today. We're gonna to be making a planter. And what I'm using for the base of the planter is just a um, concrete form tube. This is made out of cardboard. Um, this is the Quick Tube made by Quickery. I got this, you can get Lowe's for about $11 and you can see it's pretty big. I'm only gonna be using um, eight inches of it so you can really make a lot of planters or other projects out of this if you want and the size I'm using is eight inch this is the smallest they had in my store um, and what I'm gonna be doing to the outside is kind of making it look like fluted furniture um, fluted furniture has really been like in lately um, and so this is a fun kind of twist on that trend so what I'm using you can see here these trim pieces they are like a dome semi-circle shape. Um, I believe they're about a half an inch wide and I'm just going to be cutting these down to size and putting them around this concrete tube. And um, we are partnering up with our friends over at DAP Products on this project. So we will be using um, DAP Rapid Fuse all purpose adhesive to adhere um, the trim pieces to the cardboard. So um, I'm excited to get started. Let's get everything cut. All right, so I am using this hand saw. I just um, stole it from Logan's toolbox. Um, let's hope it works. <laughs> It's definitely cutting it, um, so that's good. And it's not, although it looks like I'm kind of struggling, um, it's not super hard. I'm not applying a lot of pressure. But it is rolling around on me quite a bit. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out a way to clamp it down um, to help. Now I am just taking this rough edge that I got and just sanding it down. I'm using some um, 150 grit sandpaper. To cut the um, trim down, we are using a miter saw. And I wanna just point out a, something that you may or may not have on your miter saw. This is just a Delta Shop Master. It's pretty old. Um, we actually have three miter saws in our garage, believe it or not. We've got this one. We've got another Delta Shop Master over here that's a lot smaller. I usually use this one because I like how I can pick it up and it's pretty lightweight. And then we've got another one down here that's really big, um, a Milwaukee. Anyway. Um, I just wanted to point out that you may or may not on your miter saw have these little pieces out here. You may or may not know what they do, um, but you can use this kind of as a guide. You can clamp it into place and then put your pieces so they butt up against this and then you can cut a lot at the same um, length without measuring every single time. So that will definitely come in handy. However, I want to cut my pieces down to eight inches and this is more than eight inches. That is what this guy is for here. So you can get another piece of wood, just a scrap piece, put it under here and set it at um, the correct length. And then you can just butt your pieces up against it and it'll be the perfect length every time. So we will be using that. Next, I did a couple coats of black spray paint on that cardboard tube on the inside and the outside just in case anything peeked through in between the dolls. All right, all of the trim pieces are cut and they've been lightly sanded. This piece is um, dry, 
It was painted with the black spray paint and now we're ready to glue. So to glue, we are working with DAP and using their Rapid Fuse all-purpose adhesive. And we love this stuff. All of these were actually open containers in our junk drawer in the kitchen. We use this for everything. So we're gonna start gluing here and it should go pretty fast. This stuff is, um, it grabs in just 30 seconds. So you'll see here, we're just gonna hold each trim piece in for about 30 seconds and then it'll be nice and set into place. Next, I followed up with several coats of matte black spray paint over the dowels. So I am putting this on our faux fiddle leaf fig, and you can see here that the pot that it comes in is so small and it just looks a little silly. Here's how it turned out, and I'm so excited to see how it looks in the tree. All you do is just pop the tree in place, and voila! I love how it turned out. It adds so much character to this faux tree, and really you can use it on any type of plant, real or fake. You just put it around your planter. If you love how this turned out, be sure to let us know in the comments below, like this video, and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I will see you next time. Have a great day.